What do you feel when you are singing? It makes it very fun for me to perform the music of Queen because it's such great music. But most of all, I think I feel the joy of the people who love Queen's music. You know, that that's really why I do this, because people love their music so much. And I can't think of a single time where I didn't feel that from the audience when I was performing Queen. It's just, that's really what keeps me going. What do the eyes of the fans tell you front stage when you see their faces? The, the eyes of the fans tell me a lot, especially the ones that have tears in them. Uh, often I see people in the first, because I can only see the first couple of rows because of the lights, but uh, often I see people in tears and it really, it just makes it really worth it for me to travel all over the world, to leave my home, to come all the way to, to Belgium and all over Europe to do this, just to see what kind of emotion is stirred up in people when they hear the music that they grew up with or the music that they're introducing to their children. Yes. Yeah, okay. Imagine tomorrow you will sit here with Mercury, Freddie and with Bowie. What is the first thing you want to do here at the piano with them? <laughs> I think I would just let them let them play. You know, I, I don't think I would feel uh, worthy to uh, interrupt their creativity. But if they let me in, uh, who knows what kind of music we'd come up with? And uh, hopefully, I could come up with at least one line of lyrics that they could use. <laughs> and so we go to the song "Under Pressure." It's such a powerful song. Um, what do you feel about that song? Eh? It's with Bowie. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, um, in the, that's why I say that, because the song that they wrote together happens to be one of my favorite songs. It's Under Pressure is top three Queen songs for me, and it's also one of my favorite moments in the One Vision of Queen show, because obviously I can't do the whole song by myself. My guitar player sings the part of Bowie, and he does a really great Bowie sound. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a moment of solidarity, two brothers singing together about uh, a world that is hurting. And uh, it, it's just a, a really great lyric, and it means a lot. You already played together with Roger Taylor and Brian May. How was it to play and work together with these guys? Well, it's... Uh, I, I got to spend a lot more time with Roger Taylor. Brian May was very lightly involved. Um, and I got to share the stage with both of them only once on the stage of American Idol in 2012. And it was my first performance of Queen in front of anyone. So 20 million viewers is very, very high pressure. But I think we did a really good job. Um, the only other time that I worked with Roger Taylor uh, performed with him was on stage at a festival in England and we sang Under Pressure together and that was very cool. But um, yeah, Roger's a very, very easygoing guy. He was very passionate about making sure that the band was performing Queen as Queen should be performed with the right amount of passion and there's no pretending involved. Like I don't dress up and pretend that I'm Freddie Mercury. I always come as Mark Martell. But uh, yeah, I, I, learned, I learned how to perform Queen from Queen themselves. So that's, I think that's why we sound so much like them. Okay, no, we go now to Freddie. What's the most legendary performance of Freddie? What do you think? I mean, I think you'd have to say Live Aid. 1985. Um, that is probably the most iconic. They blew the roof off of a building that doesn't even have a roof. And uh, I think there's no question that they were the highlight of that day. Um, and even with all of their touring afterwards with the Yellow Jacket, people think of Wembley, um, that performance probably comes in second, but uh, yeah, I think Live Aid would have to be number one, especially because you could compare them immediately to all the other acts at the time. And you've already two uh, albums of Christmas songs. Uh, you are a Christmas lover, so uh, Freddie was also a Christmas lover, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I actually recorded Thank God It's Christmas on one of my Christmas albums. Uh, it's a really cool song. I never really heard it before um, I started performing Queen. And I, I made my own version of it with a kind of a gospel flair, almost a little bit like Somebody to Love, um, which is very, very different than Queen's version. But yeah, I've, I love Christmas music. It gives me a chance every year to inject my own creativity into some other music um, before I release uh, some more original music, which I have not done in quite a while, but we've released uh, six or s 
six Christmas EPs. I've recorded o over 40 Christmas songs, so it's, it's a, an important part of my career. And is there still time to write new songs uh, of your own? And if yes, is there influence of Nashville? Absolutely. Uh, Nashville has been a big influence on my songwriting. There's a very... You know, Nashville has some of the best songwriters in the world, and there is a bit of a, I don't want to say a formula, but Nashville definitely has a songwriting style where the lyric is so important and the lyric has to grab you immediately. It, and it's almost as if the lyric is almost more important than the music. Um, but if you, you take, it's still all, it's legs of a table, right? If you take one away, then the other one doesn't work. But um, yeah, I, I am so looking forward to releasing new music. I'm in the middle of recording an, an original Christmas song uh, right now that I hope to release this year. And um, so, yeah, it's a Christmas song and I, I hope to release some regular music, who knows when, but soon. Okay. And where do you get all this energy? You're not imitating Freddy, but you have his energy, yeah? Yeah, um, that, that's interesting you say that. I'm not ref imitating Freddy. That's always been very important to me, to come on stage as myself. And people often ask me, what, what do you see in, in common with you and Freddy? And I think we were very different people, from what I understand. Um, except that when I, when I step on stage, I turn and it's a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde, like two different personalities. Like when I'm off stage, I'm very calm and, and even shy sometimes. When I was a child, I was very, very shy. Uh, but when I step on stage, it's, uh, I come into my own. I feel very confident. And I think Freddie was a lot like that. Yeah. yeah. The piano is very important for you, for Freddie. We've seen, um, already seen showpieces here in the showroom of uh, Mama. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love being in a piano store. Mana has uh, so many. Well, th this is the museum uh, that we're in right now with all the very, very old pianos. But um, they have some very interesting selection. And uh, I love the piano. It's my first instrument. And actually, uh, since I've started performing the music of Queen now for 12 years, I've become a, a much better piano player because Freddie was an amazing composer on the piano and I've had to figure out how to do that while you know also singing as powerfully as I can um, and I grew up taking piano lessons I've always loved the piano but uh, I'm thankful that I get to do this and I have become a better not only singer but piano player it really is a show for everyone I love seeing parents bringing their children it's for all ages I mean most of the time depending on the on the venue but uh, most of the time All ages are welcome. All ages have a great time. The music of Queen is so animated that even children can, you know, really enjoy it. And obviously the, the adults who grew up with it. And now the people who were kids when uh, Queen started are now mostly grandparents. And so really you get all ages. And for me, the biggest compliment for me personally is when people who have been musicians all their lives and have done similar things to me and traveled the world playing music, when they come to the show and they have the time of their lives, that's really the, the biggest compliment for me, you know, it's because they've seen it all and uh, I've, I've somehow managed to show them something new, different, even though I'm singing someone else's music. I, I don't know how that works, but it's amazing. Mm -hmm. 